Hey everyone, brace yourselves because I'm about to drop some critical intel that you absolutely need to know. Have you ever considered how a crisis could send the prices of your daily essentials through the roof? Imagine waking up to find that the cost of the groceries you rely on every day has doubled. In the very near future, experts are predicting that 10 essential grocery items are set to see a dramatic increase in price. Are you prepared for this? Nobody wants to be taken by surprise when it comes to their budget. Stick around as we unveil the 10 grocery items you'll want to stock up on before prices soar. Sugar's sweet spike in price. Watch out folks because in our roundup of 10 grocery products that will double in price next month, sugar is taking the spotlight, currently priced at an affordable 24 cents per pound. This pantry staple is teetering on the edge of a price jump to 25 cents per pound, thanks to a predicted 5.6% market upsurge. Now, you might be thinking, hey, it's just a cent, but when we talk about the bigger picture, your annual grocery haul, that scent snowballs into a notable hit on your budget. To dodge this upcoming price punch, consider this the perfect time to beef up your sugar stockpile. A typical household burns through about $1 worth of sugar each month. So why not play it strategic and prep a year's worth in advance? That's 12 pounds of sugar earmarked for your coffees, cakes, and everything sweet in between. This isn't just about keeping your pantry filled. It's a savvy financial move to lock in prices now and sidestep those future spikes. And it's not just sugar you should be eyeing warily. Those irreplaceable joys of life, chocolates, candies, baked delights, are also on the price hike train. Even though exact sweet treat prices are elusive, hitching a ride on the same 5.6% increased bandwagon means waiting could cost you more in the long run. But here's the kicker. If you're planning to build that sugar fortress, don't just stick to the baseline. Given the looming price storm, adding a 15-20% to 20 buffer to your stockpile makes sense. That bumps your shopping list from 12 to around 14-15 pounds of sugar. This extra stash isn't just for an unexpected bake -thon. It's your hedge against any sharp increases or surge in sugar cravings. What about the sweets? Well, the strategy shifts a bit there. If sweets are your go-to comfort food, or you've got festive seasons and birthdays on the horizon, leaning towards a six-month stockpile could save your wallet and keep the sweetness in your life intact. Opt for sweets that stand the test of time. Think long shelf life or freezer friendly to ensure you're getting the most bang for your buck. Nine, fruits and vegetables surge. Ever wondered how your grocery bills seem to climb without you even noticing? Well, hang tight because we're about to dive into something that might just blow your mind. Right now, each American is dishing out about $27.09 on processed fruits alone. Yeah, you heard that right. But here's where it gets spicy. Industry pros are predicting the processed and frozen fruit market to balloon up to a whopping 1.39 billion kilograms by 2028. What's behind this massive jump? It's all about convenience versus cost, folks. On the veggie front, Think of this, retail prices are doing a dance between $0.87 cents and $3.48 per pound. Wholesale, that's another story. With numbers ranging from $0.61 cents to $2.44, these aren't just random stats. They're a sneak peek into the tug-of-war between production costs, supply chain shenanigans, and our own craving for those greens. But here's the kicker, stockpiling. Now, before you imagine a doomsday prepper scenario, hear me out. Imagine keeping your kitchen stocked with 12 pounds of processed fruits and veggies for the year. Not just to avoid getting caught in a pinch, but to outsmart those market ups and downs and keep your diet diverse and nutritious. It's not about waiting for the sky to fall. It's about smart shopping and eating well, no matter what the price tags say next month. 8. Eggs, the breakfast staple we can't live without, are riding a roller coaster of retail prices that zoom between $2.96 and a staggering $6.92 per kilogram. And folks, if you're tuning in from the States, that translates to a wild swing from $1.34 to $3.14 per pound. What's behind this egg siding price volatility? It's a mix of egg sizes, the organic versus conventional farming showdown, and the inevitable regional pricing roulette. Now, if you're thinking about bulking up your egg stash, whether for business or because you simply love eggs, you'll want to peek at the wholesale prices hovering between $0.27 cents and $4.84 per kilogram or $0.94 cents and $2.20 per pound. 
Bulk buying could be your golden ticket, but remember, market fluctuations and supplier whims could crack your budget. Strategizing your egg investment goes beyond timing the market. Prices can wobble dramatically, affected by seasonal demands or the global market's mood swings. Watch these trends like a hawk to nab eggs at their cheapest, but there's more to it than just the perfect buy moment. Storing your eggs right is crucial. They demand a cool spot under 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And cramped eggs? That's a recipe for disaster. Understanding how much your household consumes helps avoid the tragedy of waste because while eggs do last, they certainly aren't eternal. Rotate your stash, folks, to keep things fresh. With a forecasted dip in egg prices by 4.6% this year, we're glimpsing a hopeful future with more stable egg supplies and cheaper chicken feed. However, in this constantly shifting global economy, we've got inflation, feed prices, and geopolitical tensions to juggle. Even with potential price drops, it's essential to remain extra vigilant. Bulk buying during sales can save your budget, assuming you've got the space. And when egg prices hit the roof, pivot to alternative proteins like beans, lentils, or tofu to keep your meals balanced and your wallet happy. Coming up at number 7, we're slicing into the world of pork. Fasten your seatbelts because the retail roller coaster for pork is currently soaring, with prices ranging from $1.94 to a sizzling $2.91 per kilogram. That's roughly $0.88 cents to $1.32 for every pound of this delicious staple. Turn your gaze to the wholesale scene, and you'll find a slight dip with prices at $1.36 to $2.04 per kilogram, translating to just $0.62 cents to $0.92 cents per pound. And for those globe-trotting pork enthusiasts, the export price for U.S. pork is clocking in at a hearty $2.99 per kilogram. Now, here's where things get juicy. Total commercial pork production is expected to pork pell to around 28 billion pounds, showing a meaty 2.4% increase from last year. This could very well be your golden ticket to stockpiling heaven, especially with the unyielding demand for pork, both in the U.S. and on the international barbecue scene. But before you turn your basement into a pork pantry, consider your consumption. If you're devouring around 2 pounds a week, that tallies up to 104 pounds a year. By crunching these numbers, you can tailor your stockpile for 3, 6, or even 12 months, ensuring your pork supply is just right. Not too lean, not too fat, and don't overlook your freezer's real estate. Proper airflow and consistent chill are key to keeping your pork in peak condition. Also, remember the lifespan of your porky treasures varies. From ground pork and sausages good for three to four months to loin or chops that can chill for half a year, bacon and ham. They've got a shelf life stretching up to six months. But wait, there's more. Ensure your stockpile sings with variety. Mix in different cuts and processed goodies to keep your meals exciting and full of flavor. And toss in a 10-20% emergency buffer to your stockpile to safeguard against surprise shortages. Say for a six-month stash, you need 48 pounds. Bumping that up by 10% sets you at a solid 53 pounds. This strategy keeps you prepped and ready, turning your pork stockpile from a mere collection to a gastronomical treasure trove. Six, now. Let's zero in on why securing your stash of fats and oils isn't just smart. It's crucial, given the roller coaster of consumption rates, storage dilemmas, and wallet woes. Key insight, knowing your own oil usage like the back of your hand. Each family's a unique blend of culinary styles. Maybe you're all about that deep fry life, or perhaps you're drizzling olive oil on everything. Your habits in the kitchen shape the stash you need to build. But it's not just a numbers game. It's about matching your stash to both your taste buds and health needs. Then there's the puzzle of where to keep it all. With varying expiry dates and not everyone rocking the perfect chill pantry space. Planning what you can actually keep fresh is vital. And here's the kicker. The cost of these liquid gold essentials is as erratic as a game of pinball, influenced by what you're after, where you're shopping, and the wild world of market trends. Brace yourselves. The global oils and fats market is set to explode to a whopping $253.80 billion by 2024. With hunger for these essentials climbing, prices are only headed one way. Up, making savvy shopping strategies like hunting down bulk bargains or even flirting with futures contracts a brainy move, especially in the U.S. The sheer range of options, 
From the kitchen connoisseur's olive oil to the heavy-duty industrial lard adds layers to the decision-making process, say olive oil is your go-to. Its health perks are unbeatable, but its price tag and princess-like storage needs may not jive with your long-term hoarding plan. On the flip side, Hardier, wallet-friendly options like canola or soybean oil could be your emergency stockpile heroes. Kick off this strategy session by drilling down into your actual needs. How quickly do you burn through a bottle? Which varieties are non-negotiables in your kitchen? With these answers, you'll be equipped to draft a savvy shopping blueprint, ready to face whatever curveballs the market or next month's prices throws your way. 5. Gare Cereals and Bakery Goodies Alert Imagine starting your day with a bowl of your favorite cereal, only to find out that the price might just skyrocket next month. Currently, we're looking at cereal prices that swing from a cozy $2.50 to a premium $8 per box. That's quite the spectrum, right? From your basic munchies to the top-shelf gourmet grains. But here's the kicker. We've got some insider intel that prices are expected to take a slight dip by about 1.1%. Seems small, but in the world of grocery shopping, every penny counts. Now, here's where your ninja shopping skills come into play. Not just grabbing and stashing, but strategizing like a pro. Picture this. If you're the kind who goes through a box a month, why not create a 12-box buffer? Especially with the price dip, it's like scoring your breakfast at a bargain for a whole year. And talking about bakery delights, the variety is just dazzling. From your everyday bread to those once-in-a-while pastry splurges, the price tags are as varied as the treats. But guess what? Just like cereals, bakery items are about to taste a bit sweeter, with a 1.1% dip in prices. Maybe it's time to fill your pantry with those fluffy delights or dare to experiment with something new. All in all, it's about making those smart moves before prices jump. 4. Buy Fish and Seafood Picture this a kaleidoscope of fish and seafood prices dancing from a humble $4.94 to a jaw-dropping $19.77 per kilogram. That's right, from the cozy corners of your local market to the vast expanse of the ocean's bounty. We're witnessing a price range that's as diverse as the sea life it represents. For those who love to measure in pounds, we're talking about a range that swings from $2.24 to $8.97. And here's a silver lining. The wholesale world is throwing us a lifesaver with prices that are somewhat more comforting, floating between $3.46 to $13.84 per kilogram. Or for our pound-preferencing friends, that's $1.57 to $6.28. But wait, there's more to this deep sea saga. It's not just about the numbers. This tale of fluctuating fish and seafood prices is a clarion call to all home chefs and food enthusiasts. It's time to strategize. Diving headfirst into the ocean of stockpiling without a charted course. That's a recipe for disaster, leading to a whirlpool of wasted food and funds. Begin your voyage with a treasure map of your budget, with retail treasures ranging from $2.24 to $8.97 per pound. Setting your monetary compass is paramount. Remember, those higher treasures often mark the spots where premium quality or exotic sea creatures lie. Next, survey the landscape of your freezer territory. The expanse of your cold storage kingdom directly influences the size of your stockpiling empire. And what's a kingdom without its subjects? Knowing your realm's consumption rate of these sea jewels is crucial. Assess thine weekly or monthly feasts to determine the bounty you'll need. And don't forget, Variety is the crown jewel of the culinary kingdom, a cornucopia of different fish and seafood. Not only adorns your table with sumptuous feasts, but also ensures your court receives a balanced diet of nutrients, with an eye on the shifting sands of price and availability, and the knowledge that even the finest treasures in your freezer hold, an expiration date. Chart a course that ensures your stockpile remains a bountiful harvest of oceanic delights. 3. E Beef Prices Skyrocketing Hold on to your stakes, folks. We're zooming into the beef aisle, where things are heating up. Picture this walking down to your local grocery store and finding out that the price for beef has shot up to $9.87 to $22.26 per kilogram. Yes, you heard that right. Whether it's ground beef for your grandma's famous spaghetti sauce or that luxurious ribeye steak for your weekend grill, be prepared to shell out more, much more. And listen, it's not just us feeling the pinch. 
Restaurants and retailers are in the same boat, with wholesale prices soaring from $6.91 to a whopping $15.58 per kilogram. Behind these eye-watering numbers, it's the cocktail of market dynamics. Think supply chain snags, surging consumer cravings, plus the costs of feed and global export jitters. Given this whirlwind, it's prime time to strategize your beef buys. But wait, before you start stuffing your freezer to the brim, pump the brakes. Stay savvy with Uste meat price spreads for the right time to buy. And remember, freezing isn't just set it and forget it. Keep your beef frosty at zero deg for 18 degs and consider vacuum sealing to dodge dreaded freezer burn. How much to stash? Tailor it to your household's beefy appetite and cut class. And don't forget FIFO Stin, first out. Is your friend for relishing that beef at peak decadence, ideally within 6 to 12 months? 2S Rich Cheese Crisis Ever wonder why biting into your favorite cheese is suddenly taking a bigger chunk out of your wallet? Well, brace yourselves, cheese lovers. We're navigating through 2024, and cheese prices in the U.S. are soaring higher than a kite. Right now, cheese costs range from $2.87 all the way up to a whopping $5.75 per kilogram. That's about $130.30 to $2.61 per pound for all you wholesale buyers. And why this pricey leap? It's like the perfect storm, a blend of supply and demand drama, skyrocketing feed costs for dairy cows, and a twist of international trade policy, changes are all making our cheese dreams costlier. Here's where it gets juicy. With prices on the rise, it's prime time to talk cheese stockpiling. Picture the six in US. Hoarded a massive 1.5 billion pounds of cheese in cold storage as of August 2022, and experts predict this cheese mountain to balloon up to 2.3 billion kilograms by 2028. Thinking about how much cheese to stash, it's not a one-size-fits-all answer. Gauge how much you absolutely can't live without and consider your storage options because, unlike your love for cheese, space isn't infinite, and don't forget, not every cheese is a long-haul trooper. Hard cheeses like Parmesan and aged cheddar won't ghost you as quickly as their softer cousins. The big question remains, how much cheese is too much cheese? Aim for the golden range of a three to six month supply based on your consumption pattern and storage space. It's the sweet spot for staying prepared without turning your home into a cheese fortress when curating your cheese treasury. Think longevity and taste. Champion choices include hardy heroes like Parmesan, Pecorino Romano, and aged cheddar as well as versatile valorous like Gouda Swiss and Provolone. And if you're playing the freeze game, Mozzarella and Monterey Jack are your MVPs. Bonus tips, scout for bulk bargains, but don't get carried away. Properly store your hard cheeses and make sure any freezer-bound cheese is sealed tightly against the chili abyss. Keep your cheese rotation game strong, oldest first, newest to the back. It's not just about survival, it's about savoring each bite smartly in these trying times. Rishu F. and Seller. Imagine biting into a juicy, crisp apple or enjoying a bowl of fresh, vibrant berries. Now, picture paying double for that pleasure next month. That's right, according to the USDA Economic Research Service, we might see fresh fruit prices skyrocket by up to 7.1% in 2024. But fear not, my savvy shoppers and fruit lovers, this isn't just a warning. It's your battle cry to conquer the market and keep enjoying those delicious fruits without emptying your wallet. First up, storage wars. No more watching your beloved fruits turn to mush before you get a chance to savor them. It's time to level up your game with some cutting edge storage solutions. Ever heard of vacuum sealing magic or the wonders of produce saver containers? These are not just fancy kitchen gadgets. They're your armor in the battle against waste and overspending. Next, we're going seasonal. It's like getting Mother Nature's seal of approval on your shopping list. Buying fruits in their peak season not just saves you money, but it also gives you the best flavor bang for your buck. Plus, tuning into your household's fruit eating habits can prevent overbuying, ensuring nothing goes to waste. And for the adventurous foodies, diversify your fruit basket. It's not just about nutrition, it's also your hedge against market volatility. When the price of one fruit leaps, you'll have a delicious array of alternatives to choose from, keeping both your diet and budget balanced. But hey, don't just limit yourselves to supermarket runs. Local farmers markets and CSA programs are your treasure maps to fresh, affordable produce, 
all while supporting the local economy. And with a pinch of planning and a dash of creativity in using fruits for every meal, from snacks to desserts, you're set for success. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to navigating the fluctuating fruit prices. Stay informed, be prepared, and you'll master the art of enjoying your favorite fruits without the fear of price hikes. Who said you can't have your fruit and eat it too?